The Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA is a private, nonprofit, completely unaffiliated with any of the national humane groups, though best known for sheltering homeless animals and finding new homes for all the healthy dogs and cats in our care, we do much more. Our staff includes veterinarians, animal behaviorists, wildlife experts, and cruelty investigators. We've made our area among the best nationwide for homeless pets and made it among the least tolerant of animal abusers. You'll learn about all this in the next few minutes, and you'll see that all stray and surrendered pets, not just dogs and cats, have a safe haven at our shelter. This vital work is made possible by employees dedicated to our mission, by caring volunteers who work in nearly every shelter department, and with generous community support. Hi, I'm Dr. Linda Janowitz, Veterinary Chief of Staff at the Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA. Our shelter recently received the highest level of accreditation by the American Animal Hospital Association, which means that our shelter animals receive the highest possible level of care. Some animals arrive perfectly healthy and need nothing more than someone to adopt them. We're proud to say we find homes for 100% of these healthy dogs and cats. Others arrive with mild to serious conditions. Donations to our HOPE program allow us to make many of these animals better and then find homes for them. We also have hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits, rats, and exotic animals available for adoption. A complete health and temperament check is given to each animal before going home. Dog and cat adoptions include a spay or neuter surgery. The Society also provides health and behavior checks, vaccinations, and microchips so animals have a permanent form of identification. I'm Maria Gurian, the Behavior Manager for the Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA. Over here we get a lot of cats and dogs that are ready to go out for adoption and medically and behaviorally healthy and then we put them out for adoption right away. But there's a lot of other cats and dogs that come over here and need some behavior work and that's where our department jumps in. We have classes with shelter dogs and volunteers. We have other volunteers that come and help us socialize them. Behavior department works with training plans for them. And once they are ready, that's when we put them up for adoption. Once they get adopted, uh, then we talk to the adopters and we follow up with them over the phone. We have a helpline where they can call and we give them free behavior advice or they can schedule a one-on-one -on -one behavior consultation where we will address specific issues they are uh, having with their pet at home. And then for those that need more training or socialization, we offer the dog training that happens here in the evenings or during the weekends. The Peninsula Humane Society's Wildlife Rescue Center accepts sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife from San Francisco through northern Santa Clara County. And at peak times, houses up to 200 animals, including songbirds, ducks, hawks, owls, and small mammals. This donor-funded program is the area's only option for needy wildlife. One of the most important missions of the Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA is education and outreach. All of the Society's staff and volunteers educate, inform, and broaden people's understanding of animal issues. Our messages are taken to schools and other community groups throughout the year. We promote responsible pet ownership, spay and neuter, respect for wildlife, and positive-only training methods. While the Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA is a safe haven for homeless pets and an adoption center, we do much more for our community and its animals. We bring our humane messages to local school children. We host low-cost shot clinics and a monthly pet loss grief support group. We bring services like spay-neuter surgeries to targeted communities. We train and recruit volunteers to visit hospitals and libraries with their pets and we partner with our sheriff's department supervising nonviolent inmates who train homeless dogs to improve their adoption potential. So I'm Tim Tyler. I've been volunteering here at the Peninsula Humane Society for about the past seven years and it's really been a rewarding experience for me. I enjoy working with the dogs that may or may not have issues and uh, really just being able to get that dog out of the kennel and letting it run around and play and giving it some attention, fresh air, things like that, training the dog if, uh, if it needs training. Uh, the most rewarding thing though is to see one of these dogs that I've worked with quite a bit get adopted out and to see a new uh, adoptive family all happy and excited and walking out the main doors of PHS with that animal. Peninsula Humane Society has actually even sent me to jail. We have a program in conjunction with the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office where we have three dogs currently residing 
at a minimum security transitional jail facility. And so once a week I go over there to this facility and teach the inmates how to train the dogs. So there's a lot of different things that you could get involved with here at PHS. And I encourage everyone to volunteer. Right, Dexter? Our humane officers are responsible for covering our entire county and they handle calls for domestic animals and wildlife. Each day, animals are rescued from harm's way and brought to our shelter where they can be reunited with owners, made available for adoption, or, in the case of wildlife, nursed back to health before being released. Hi, my name is Katie Zilstra and I'm a corporal for the Department of Animal Rescue and Control. We work out in San Mateo County's community to pick up sick, injured, stray, and aggressive animals, making our community a safe place to be. We work together with the Humane Investigations team to pick up animals like Lola to make sure we can bring them into happy, new healthy homes through adoption. In every community, people mistreat animals. Sadly, in some, this neglect or abuse is ignored. This is not the case in San Mateo County, where our response has become the model. The Peninsula Humane Society employs full-time investigators who rescue animals from abusive situations and work with our district attorney's office to punish abusers and keep them from harming other animals. My name is Christina Hanley. I'm lead humane investigator at the Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA. Our investigations department is fully funded by community donations and we're very grateful for that. We investigate complaints of cruelty and neglect in San Mateo County and work very closely with the DA's office and local law enforcement. If necessary, we'll take animals out of harm's way and the district attorney can file a cruelty case. We try to work with the animals and, and rehabilitate them and our behavior department works with them so that hopefully they can be placed into new and loving homes. It's one of the most rewarding parts of my job. Quite simply, the Peninsula Humane Society could not exist without caring members of our community who give their time to help in nearly every area of the shelter. Volunteers are always in demand. Some prefer hands-on roles, while others enjoy behind-the-scenes work. Our volunteers' involvement makes it possible for us to fulfill our mission and extend our programs and services to reach more people and animals. Hi, I'm Scott DeLucchi, Senior Vice President, Community Relations with the Peninsula Humane Society. At any given time during the year, one of our special events is just around the corner. Our Black Tie Gala is held just before the holiday season, and that's followed by our fashion show, then our golf tournament, and then my personal favorite is our Mutt Strut Dog Walk that's held each August. At our Mutt Strut, about three or 400 community members come out, they walk their own dogs, and they're raising funds for the shelter animals. Now, all these events are very different, but they share one important thing in common. They're all raising funds for our HOPE program. That's our life-saving work for the shelter animals who need it the very most. Very soon, San Mateo County residents and animals will have a brand new, state-of-the-art Center for Compassion. This new home for the Peninsula Humane Society will be a Bay Area jewel and greatly enhance our ability to bring people together with animals. Hi, my name is Ken White and it's my great honor to be president of the Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA. Frankly, everything we do here is about saving the lives of animals. And equally, frankly, everything we do here is only possible through the kindness of many people who come to help us, our volunteers, our donors, and those who come to us to adopt. I'm hopeful that this video gave you a sense of who we are, and I'm even more hopeful that you'll decide to help us after seeing it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.